Everywhere we've gone to in Bali and everything we've heard is be careful, watch your stuff, don't trust the Lombok locals. Now is that Lombok Bali rivalry? Or to our next accommodation, it's called Panorama Cottages. Everyone's walking around fresh fish. Oh, surf lessons. And this is us down here. Hello, Mr. Rooster. Right, Alana was having a heart attack when we got here. It doesn't look like the photos. Not from this angle anyway. Beat up looking car sitting here and it's stuff everywhere. But when you get around the corner. <laughs> Making friends with beautiful Making lady friends. Heidi from uh, Hi Heidi. Hey everyone. We're just talking about how wonderful Lombok is yeah. and Kuda and just this whole uh, experience. I don't think we're going to leave Lombok for a while. Oh, welcome drink. Thank you very much. Okay. Over there is Kuta. What is here? I didn't Cheers to wherever we are. To wherever we are. <laughs> we're in Eckhouse Beach. Check out the view. Look at that beautiful water. Look at that fishing pontoon just out there. But it looks like this it's place is a bit like a hostel sort of. Oh yeah, area. this is a proper hangar. It looks like this karaoke. And I can't wait to go and check this resort oh, out. Have I got a band here at night time? You having the night singing? Yes, do you sing? No. Can okay. I give you money when you sing? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go you on, go, no. right, let's check this beautiful place. Oh, what a pool. You actually missed out a moment ago. A boat came in, literally just flooded with locals. They all grabbed the fish, they all ran away, have two or three each. Who knows what they paid for it? The day beds out the front of every little cottage or every little hut. And where is ours? Oh, there's Mishy over there. Hey, Mish. Pick another winner. Oh, this place is awesome. I, I love it. We're meeting <laughs> such great people. Well, there's a floating restaurant out yeah. there. $45 per person. And you get a beautiful big fresh lobster. He said this region is all about lobster. That's cool. No, it's too expensive. Shut up. Room reveal. <laughs> As you would expect from a wooden Balinese hut. I'm wrapped, it's got a little lounge chair in front of it. Nice window, little garden out there, a mosquito net if you need it, got a little lock hanging. There's a safe, sort of a semi-outdoor and that is our accommodation. Air conditioning place. and facing the ocean. The view from our room is phenomenal yes. because that's the beach. One step, two step, three step, eight steps, ten steps. Look at this view. Heart there for selfies. Hi. Okay, we're here at the Pink Beach. So that was about a 20 minute ride from our accommodation and we're paying to get in per person and per bike. Daniel, how much was it? About $2.50 plus 50 cents for the bikes, about $5.50. Yeah, and if you're a local, of course it costs less. And the most yeah. we ever paid in Bali was $2. Beach access and stuff here is a little bit more. Yeah, if yeah, this can... beach is actually pink, it will be worth it, but uh, I'm well, a bit skeptical. We're going to go to another pink beach after this. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Have a lot of bumpy roads. Oh, look at that. The snorkeling looks like it's going to be amazing. Ooh, pink beach. It's beautiful. This looks like a popular side. Look, there. If you want an ice cream, the ice cream man is coming. Ah, this is one of the Look, top tourist attractions in Lombok. Some uh, morongs here. <coughs> That's good, so if you want a drink or something. And of course, you've got your beach dog. It's not a beach without dogs now here in Lombok or Bali. Well, I don't think I can say it's a pink beach, but yeah, it does have a little pinky hue to it. But I would suggest that the photos are photoshopped. But regardless, it is beautiful. Hello, hello.
Hey, Han. <laughs> they said there's a little bit of a pink hue. Is there? Hue, but... oh, apparently the pink hue is in the morning. Oh, okay. So you've got to be here early the way when the sun's rising. If you come here in the afternoon, you're not going to get a pink beach, but it looks beautiful. The ride here was good. Last 150 meters, it's really bumpy. It actually costs more to go to beaches and things in Lombok than Bali. It is a lot for Mishi and I because we're doing this every day, every day for a month on end and it starts to build up so we're going, oh really? Can you take a dollar with it? We're used to free beaches in Australia so... I can't wait to go snorkeling in here. I'm yeah, really let's go. Excited. We've come out to film these guys. I was laying on the beach, there's a liner here. We had all our stuff out and they came running to steal our stuff. And I had a standoff with a big male monkey. And he really didn't care much for me until I picked up uh, my flippers and started waving them around and he thought about it and he took off to someone else. Here they are, look. Oh, I said I got a stick, so he's worried about the stick, see? This one here wasn't much trouble, the scared one. This one was giving me attitude. They are full on monkey thieves. You gotta watch out for them. You look up and down the beach and all the locals, they're on platforms. And when the monkeys come, they start screaming and yelling at them. Look, no locals are laying on the beach with their stuff out anywhere. I snorkeled all the way out to the point and then out to the middle. The snorkeling was really, really good here. There's a lot of coral. I saw the fluoro bluefish, striped fish, yellow, all different types. They're out there. And a beautiful bay sweeps around. A couple of islands dotted over there. More out there, more out there. Loving Lombok. Looking more and more like a Balinese princess. Look. The monkey's been back yet? No. No. I'm guarding our stuff. <laughs> no. Yeah, best to be in places like this and you do want to land a beach and there are monkeys around. What I've learned from locals is either have a slingshot and you just piff stuff at them, but better a stick. When we go to all of the temples, the staff are walking around with sticks and they just flick it around a little bit and the monkey takes off. You don't <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. What a great way to enjoy life. That is so good. So Far. friendly. I was a bit worried. I didn't... Look, I didn't know what to expect, but these that's people because are beautiful. Everywhere we've gone to in Bali and everything we've heard is be careful, watch yeah. your stuff, don't trust the Lombok locals. Now, is that Lombok <laughs> Bali rivalry? Well, we're loving it so far. I'm loving it. I'm loving, loving the locals. It. They're friendly, they're nice, they're smiley. No traffic, scenery, the beaches, just fantastic. I think I counted 13 people in the back of that truck. <laughs> and they've just picked each other up, said, let's go to the beach and love life as a fan. It is amazing. And we live in such materialistic environments. Yeah, they're they're, they're That's awesome. all they need. Family, friends, beach, food, and they're so happy. Thank you. Look at this. Wow! It's worth taking detours. Oh my God, look at that. Get off the beaten track. Oh. What a rugged coastline! <laughs> we are back to sunset, setting right in front of us. That's gorgeous, isn't it? So peaceful. Even though there's a big event happening, I think it's a wedding. There are people in the streets and there are people on the scooters. We haven't seen so much traffic. All right, so we're going to dinner. Apparently. Daniel and Alana are having noodles. Mishi and I go into a beach bar uh, just down the road. I might have a couple of bintang, see what fresh food they've got. This region is known for its lobster and its crayfish, fish. So fingers crossed. Mishi, you ready? Yeah. Let's go eat. Yeah, this place is sensational. Let's go get a drink. Yeah, 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 I want a beer. I earned one today. Yes. Is that gay? I didn't film the roads we were on today, but we we're on dirt for a long time and pretty gnarly dirt at that. <laughs> it's our hotel. <laughs> this is where we're staying, the Panorama Ekas. Beach, Panorama, Cottages. Let's go. So this is a working town, I would say. So apart from all the fish, it's drying seaweed as well. 
the beach bar is that way somewhere. We are at Eckes Beach Bar. You eat around these things, watch the sunset. It feels like we're in Bali 50 years ago. There's a wedding going on in town. Come on. Oh, look at that. The street is full from one end to another. How are you? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> the party from Udung Phillips and then he come here because and then everyone come here. The, the, the woman from here. Now let's go get some food. Let's go that way. Right. So we're eating at our hotel tonight. They specialize in pasta. I did try to get everyone to eat down the road, one of the local shanty huts. But um, Alana turned around and ran away. Honestly, I wasn't feeling it. There you go. <laughs> I wonder I could come back here. Exactly. We all ordered some type of pasta. I'm going to switch this off because Alana's getting fed up with me. So I'll, 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 I'll turn you back on when the food comes out. <laughs> quick, quick, Alana's about to sing. Contact. Dogs love it. Of now it's come to say good morning to Alana. Mishy and I have just gone for a little explore. The second we leave our village, we're hit with mangrove system. I did read and see that there's a lot in this area, but I've pulled out the film because we're also noticing that every village has its own cemetery. As far as I can see, don't have any, you know, engraving on it or names or things like that. And of course, then there's some older looking ones here as we pan on back through. And of course, when in these areas, always be on a lookout for monkeys. Michelle and I just saw two or three of them. Okay, that was just a quick stop. Let's get going. Let's hit the road again. This village, it really just looks like they're living in really small, meagre one bedroom accommodations. Now, there's every chance that we turn the corner and there'll be bigger places, and these are just. Um, accommodation for workers but let's see no there's children popping in out of them there was um these buildings are relatively new the road i'm on is brand new yeah Hello. yeah look at the roof tiles new a lot of construction going on and that down there is villager accommodation. I'd love to ride down there, but I don't want to feel too intrusive, you know, two Westerners riding through a village filming the locals. Hey, you want to stop at the shop, Mish? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Is this seaweed? Oh, uh, lobster. Oh, lobster? Yeah. Oh, look at this. What happened here? It's a sort of a whole estate area that's yeah. level. Maybe there was funding for housing and then it stopped or they were going to build this area up. I believe it's to catch a lobster, said. And tonight we're going to have a lobster dinner. Looks like there's a fairly decent seaweed industry in this village. Oh, there we go. Look, they're cultivated. They're tied to the plastic bottles. It hangs. Oh, it look. grows. Yeah. Oh, hello, cutie. Hello. Hey. Look, there it is. Smell it. Just brought in. Eckes Beach. It's a nice, quiet fishing village. All the locals seem super friendly and nice. So happy to see tourists here. They want to take photos with you. The kids are so happy when they see everyone. Yeah, it's really nice. I probably mentioned earlier, we've only been to south of the island, but it feels very safe so far. We're on the outskirts of town. There's a little local shop. We come to get some supplies. Some drinks. This is a supermarket. Oh, there's a fridge of drinks. Cold drinks. We didn't see that. 
So this is by far the biggest shop in town. The rest is just little, you know, um, people selling stuff out their windows. Yeah. You know, the rest of the working village, look, we've got tobacco. A lot of tobacco production in this region. Pantai Kura Kura. Paradise around every corner here in Lombok. And most of the time you have the beach to yourself. And look at this shop set up. One, we're on. two, we're on. three, four, five. This place is utterly empty. I don't understand. It's so beautiful. It is beautiful, but how do these people make a living? What's. Hey, you need to come to Lombok. It's incredible. They need more tourists here and you will love it. I'm actually going to go down here and follow the beach for a second. So this is probably about 10 minutes from our accommodation. Looks like a fairly heavy surf beach. Oh, look, <laughs> Instagram swings. If we go around the corner, you can find you know, little calm bays as well. We're literally riding along a beach, a secluded beach in the middle of nowhere. I think, Mish, I think we're living the dream. Like the beach. <laughs> I'm happy if I'm at a beach. Could the roads be any emptier? Oh wow, there's one bike coming over the horizon. And when he's gone, for the next five minutes, silence. We wanted to come to Warong Risky, but alas, it's shut. Look at that. What a gorgeous place. So we are forced to go down the road. Oh, hello, how are you? It's called Ekas Surf Resort. Let's go. Check it out. It's only really small, it's tight. I love all those flowering trees and then dropping in the pool looks like you know a uh, floral bathtub. Moves mm. sauces, a little salad. Mm. Chicken burger looks amazing, it's grilled. Pineapple, cucumber, bacon, chicken, yum. That is my friend. How was your meal? Oh it was incredible, beautiful. I think what in total I had two Coke Zeros, a beautiful wrap, you had a great burger, great drink, burger. $21. Fantastic. Can't go wrong. All right, uh, Mish, I reckon today, I want to go home and have a nap. Relax tonight, seafood restaurant. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seafood restaurant. Hello again from Lombok. We are going to out there somewhere. Lana, you coming? Yes. Yes, go. come on. So hopefully it's going to be good. What the, the restaurant's actually owned by the owner of this, what do you call it? Hotel, villa place? Is it an okay hotel, Alana? It is, it's very nice. The pool's very nice. Ah, good, good. I think it's $40 per person. And we're going to get lobster. We're going to get fish and vegetables and rice and hopefully a few beverages as well. Glorious night. That's the restaurant and bar in our hotel on the beach. Really cool. Hi. <laughs> it's forecast as per usual for the next seven days in a row 23 degrees every night and 30 degrees every day, full sun. Perfect. And when Daniel and Alana went out today and they went because they went snorkeling for the day and you were with us and we went to the beach, all farms, fish farms, lobster farms. And of course, we saw how they farm seaweed earlier on today. Alana, our singer's back. Oh, yeah. You're going to sing again tonight? No. no? Mm -mm. That was a highlight of my day yesterday. Well, yeah, maybe one. one. Maybe one. Star is born. What are you singing? <laughs> People don't want to hear my singing color. voice. Off we go. <laughs> <laughs> we're walking, we're jumping. Whether well, we're jumping in a boat. Oh. Yay! Yeah. Boat ride! Boat ride, Jesus, dark. <laughs> Ooh, look at this starfish. Yeah, we're, ooh, big stuff there, man. Yes, the that boat's moving. That was Alana did that. Off we go, baby. This is what adventure is about. Absolutely. So. We're getting to it. Yeah, this is it. Check it out, it's all open here. Hello. Are you there? Thank you very much, driver. Thank you, Captain. 
Okay. He's got to pick what he wants. Gecko's out here. Oh, here we go. Water. Yeah, this is the leftover aftermath of our seafood dinner. Just bones and shell. <laughs> our last night with uh, Alana and Daniel. You're just going to have to watch your adventures. Yeah. Alright, how was dinner guys? Good. Oh, not bad. Good. Different. Not bad. It Different. was an experience. We've never done this before. Oh, it was a great experience. Great experience. Yeah. Look, seriously, they're being nice. Um, our lobster, our crayfish, we hit king prawns that size back in Australia, and the fish was kind of small. The chopped chai, we said it was too spicy, and our rice tasted earthy. So the experience was awesome. We just needed to be honest, yeah? We ready to vamos? Yeah. Home. Back to our resort. Look at them all. They're congregating outside. Yeah. Good morning. When do you get to see this? Always see animals everywhere. Look. Uh, Mishy and I are continuing on our journey. There goes our travelling partners for the last week. So Daniel and Alana have got the um, two hour ride back to the ferry. And then a four or five hour ferry ride. There's a... Here's a dog we befriended. Hello, gorgeous. It's such a still morning here. It's going to be a gorgeous day. Mission and I are leaving here in about two hours and we're heading off into the mountains of Lombok. Good luck on your video. Thank you. It, is, it has been a pleasure having you with us, Alana. Dan's been fun, man. Yeah, buddy. It's been a pleasure, man. Yeah. Keep up doing this shit, work, man. Doing good. Definitely. The naturals are the hear that everyone make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can keep doing this and i can show you our journeys the <laughs> troubles this is like a nirvana it's gorgeous come in and we have a pool access room <laughs> <laughs> but you won't know Before that we real we always go out we made it keep long box Hotel. We are in a local village. Three rooms on the beach. Oh, I can't wait. There we go. This is our front yard. And this is the beach. Remnants of a fire pit. Good. 